Matthew Suggy here from Verity Baptist Church Philippines, uh, Verity Baptist Church Manila, and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga with a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week was a great week. It's definitely one of the most successful weeks we've ever had as a church. And so we had a big soul winning marathon on Thursday during the Edsa Revolution. And during the marathon, we were able to get 89 salvations between the multiple marathons. And um, even afterwards, um, you know, some people did a little bit more soul winning outside of the revolution. Almost got to 100 for the day. Didn't quite get to 100, but we got into the 90s. And overall for the week, between our churches, we had a total of 265 salvations. So that's the second best day we've ever had, not counting um, during a missions trip. And, um, you know, we almost broke our record. You know, we, we, we did really well. And um, on Wednesday, you know, uh, we found a new area to go to, which it's not really a new area, but it's an area that's, uh, there's definitely a lot of people outside, just kind of a mini park, which is kind of our soul winning right before our, our church service. We had good results on Wednesday and our Saturday and Sunday soul winnings have been great. We've been able to send some people to parks and then some people door to door. And so, you know, just a lot of people doing a lot of soul winning, a lot of time and effort being put in. And so I'm just amazed at the effort everyone's putting in. So things are going great here with Salvations. We also came close to breaking a record for most soul winners in a week. And um, our attendance as well was, was real close to a record. So those are kind of the three areas we're really tracking. Um, salvations in a week, number of soul winners, and um, attendance. And in all three areas, just a really great week. So overall, things are going great. Um, March is going to be a little bit um, less packed, um, less stuff, uh, because we had a lot of soul winning marathons in February. We had some holidays. We don't have any uh, major holidays in March. So pretty much the first week of April, which is right around um, Easter, which kind of is like um, from Wednesday to Sunday is kind of like a, a, a holiday for a lot of people. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of soul winning. Um, we don't have all the plans yet for that. But kind of March is going to be a little bit more relaxing. So outside of our four main soul winning times, um, we might not, we probably won't have any soul winning events, but I'm sure we'll have uh, a lot of people soul winning and great results and everything. But um, anyways, uh, just things are going great. In terms of sermons I preached, um, I preached on Hosea chapter 10, It is Time to Seek the Lord. On Sunday, my second sermon was on circuit riding preachers, just kind of explaining um, our pattern as a church of having multiple churches that I'm preaching at. And it's kind of a term from 1 Samuel 7, and it's a term Methodists used to use in the past, which obviously, you know, I'm not Methodist. Um, I grew up Methodist, actually, but I'm not Methodist. But the term's not really a bad term. And I just kind of mentioned some other circuit riding preachers that are out there that are kind of like-minded, like Pastor Kevin Sepulveda is someone that I got advice from before he started the church in Pampanga just, you know, a couple years ago. And uh, he's preaching at multiple churches. And, you know, the reason why is because there's a demand. You know, I talked about Pastor Jonathan Shelley um, was was uh, running Pure Words Baptist Church, and he still is. And then uh, due to a need, he kind of took over another church in Texas, which had um, some church plants. And, you know, he's regularly preaching at multiple churches. And so the reason why, and even other church pastors that are like-minded, you know, Pastor Jimenez, Pastor Anderson, and other pastors that will preach, you know, at their churches, but also guest preach at a lot of locations. There's just kind of a demand and a need for it. So that's what I preached on, and I kind of gave some um, thoughts about that. And then the other sermon was on um, Christian apologetics exposed. And so I kind of took the opportunity as people were thinking about Rabbi Zacharias, and, uh, you know, I talked about how there's really just not a need for Christian apologetics, and I showed through the Bible and I uh, explained Acts 17, which people think is a big apologetics chapter, which in reality, Paul is just preaching the gospel and just going in depth explaining the, the, the nature of God because of the fact it's a society that has a oneness sort of belief. They have this unknown God with all this idolatry. So that's what I talked about on Sunday. Those were the sermons. So anyways, a couple other just quick announcements. So we live streamed our services on our Verity Baptist Manila YouTube channel. And so... This is the second week we've really done it, and it went really well this past week for the first sermon. Um, at the beginning, um, I watched the entire sermon um, just uh, last night once I got home from church just to check, and it, the audio was great throughout. And then the video had a couple, little bit of lagging during the first 10 minutes, you know, from time to time. But then the rest of the sermon, there was really no lagging. I mean, it was really it went really well. Our internet connection broke for the second sermon. And so we had to, um, you know, re-put up the sermon again. So there's a little bit of problems, but not too bad. So we still have a few things that we're going to try to technically uh, work out, some just technicalities and everything. But it sounded really good this past Sunday, and uh, we're, we're really excited about that. And we made some changes to make sure that we're going to have the audio and video sounding good inside of our church, inside the Mother Baby Room. 
um, and also on YouTube and everything like that. So just bear with us with that, but you can start checking out our live stream on the YouTube channel and not just on the Facebook. And the Facebook's more of a backup, but we might try to sync those together, so we're still kind of working through those things. But it went really well on Sunday. And um, so overall, things are going great. And, um, you know, just continue to pray for us, pray for our ministry. And thank you, and God bless.